Welcome or welcome back on uh, C Square. In this video clip, we're going to talk about uh, piecewise function. We're going to do a short discovery using GeoGebra, and um, we're going to have some example of piecewise function. So first of all, I need you to type in in your browser GeoGebra.org. You can see it right here, and you're going to get this page, and then. Uh, if you take a look, uh, somewhere down left where the uh, red rectangle is, is the graphing calculator. Click on it. And you're going to get something similar to this, or a little bit different in fact. So I'm going to need you to drag the coordinate grid. So put your mouse on, on this area and drag it such that you can get a window similar to this one. Okay. Then I need you to type in exactly what you see here, which is uh, negative 2x minus 3 comma x, and then use the less button on your computer. And you should uh, see this uh, line. Then click enter. And you, now you can see the thing change here. It looks like the uh, GeoGebra put f of x. f of x equal negative 2x minus 3. And then all that uh, other stuff, it's inside here, x less than 2. So in fact, what GeoGebra did is to is graphing a function just for the graph on f of x just for value uh, that are less than two and you can see here on this picture this line stops right here uh, and you'll see it later i'm going to do an empty circle uh, geogebra is not going to do that for for us but again uh, so far if you have uh, that line and this function that will be good Uh, then I'm going to need you to bring the keyboard back in. It's right here, as I said. You should see what I, you have on the screen now, or something similar. And now I, I point you on something that uh, the keyboard, uh, that's the reason I ask you to bring the keyboard back in. This sign greater or equal. Okay, let's look at here what I'm going to type now in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you to type in this on the second row, exactly as you see, x minus 1, comma, x. And again, you're going to use the greater or equal button 2. Okay. Again, click enter. You will see nothing and you, uh, because uh, obviously, uh, let's, let's do a little bit of a... Uh, of critical thinking, I will say that. You see this x greater or equal to x equals 2. I can make x equals 2. I'm going to get uh, 2 minus 1, right? If I replace x with 2, I get 2 minus 1. That will be 1. So when x is 2, if you remember the order pair that we can use to represent what I just mentioned here, uh, why it's 1? I cannot see that point. It's somewhere here. I cannot see. So that's the reason you don't see anything yet. I said also exit the keyboard, keyboard, and also again try to drag your coordinate grid so you can see something, something like that. And now also you notice the GeoGebra put another function here. That's the way the GeoGebra uh, is dealing with this this uh, piecewise function. But now we can see two graphs. So basically now it's, um, you can see what we call a piecewise function. You can see what I have right here in GeoGebra. Uh, and now I want to mention that empty circle. I mentioned at the beginning, right? Why we have an empty circle? Because we have x less than 2. And a full dot here, or a full circle, because we have 
x greater or equals to. Other than that, the, the graphs, the left side it goes with. So this guy goes with this. this side goes to the bottom piece of the piecewise function. So yeah, that is a piecewise function, a function that behaves differently on different intervals. So when an x is less than 2, the function behaves like negative 2x minus 3. When x is greater or equals to, uh, the, the function behaves like x minus 1. And in fact, we're going to see an example right away. Like this one. Uh, which you see is so similar to what we did. Obviously, you are not going to be able to use GeoGebra. You may want to do like we call a table, right? And basically now, you need to pick values that are less than 2 and values that are greater or equals to just to see how the function behaves. So, you know what? Let me put first 2 here, somewhere here. And when x equals 2, we're going to use this, p, this part of the piecewise function, and uh, we're going to have f of 2 equal 2 minus 1, which is 1. So basically, that's the first point I'm going to do it here. 2 and 1. And it's going to be a full dot. In fact, if you remember, we have greater or equal. Then, uh, you know what? Let's finish that piece. I'm going to need to pick an, at least one more number an input for x, since that is a linear guy. So I'm going to say 3, and f of 3, let's see if we have enough space here. f of 3 will be 3 minus 1, which is 2. So we have the point 3 and 2. And if you remember, for graphing a line, we just need two points and graph the line. Just be sure you start from that point 2 and 1, because x has to be greater or equals 2 for this piece of the piecewise function. So this is the graph for the bottom piece of the piecewise function. I start with the bottom. And now let's take a look to the top. The top says the function behaves like negative 2x plus 3 or x less than 2. Now, ah, okay, so pretty much you cannot pick, you cannot use 2. Uh, so let's use, let's say, uh, 0 and 1. And uh, sometimes you can do some mental math. Like for 0, negative 2 times 0 is 0 plus 3, 3. So the, the point we have, and I should have used a different color, let me use that one. Uh, the point we have here is 0 and 3. is right here. And now let's do the same for 1. Negative 2 times 1, negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1. So we're going to grab this guy. Now we can uh, sketch the line, and I'm going to start from the uh, second point, from this point, I'm going to go like that. Um, you notice here the slope of negative 2, so in other words, you can use linear uh, function methods to graph if you don't want to use the table. Uh, however, let me point on something. We have something that we don't see on this piece, which is the last part of the piece between negative 1 and negative, I'm sorry, between positive 1 and positive 2. So what's happened with the function there, right? We are still in this piece of the piecewise function. So basically, you're going to keep going. And get an empty circle. So obviously you can see the same thing here. Uh, I sketch uh, both pieces on this uh, grid line. 
go ahead and try this one now and I will see you back I mean you already see the answer in fact uh, thank you for watching this uh, uh, video clip and uh, if you like it don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square thank you and have a great day